Thank you very much to being here, inviting me to this panel. I have a lot of, of pictures and, and maybe you could see them, it's very important. Okay. Uh, our country in the north of, of South America, the population is 50 million now and we have grown in, in a, a hundred years from the, uh, it is in ten times more from the five millions that we have at that moment to 50 millions. The population here is, is the, our country, it is Bogota, Medellin, uh, the beautiful women over there, uh, Amazonas, and all that parts. The population, it was like that, a lot of young people in 1953, young people mostly, women here and men here, and now we are like this more older people and the problems that comes with older people and more women than men so it is a good place also for that <laughs> uh, this is it. this is the university the Javeriana the library the central uh, building the hospital my office is here and this is our department this is the group a young group here are younger like me and the same tie I have it is the, the best tie I have so I put it always for this occasion so I was asked, I was asked to to think about this and I think it in, in four ways in, in improving the definition of innovation that's very important in Colombia the, the mode to to improving innovation, the education in innovation. This is a, a very interesting thing that we are doing over there, and we want a network on that and the network. The innovation in Colombia is thought like this. The, the government has this definition in science that is strictly around the development of technology and devices. Although they, they, they think also in doing the business with this only, only business. And we think that is not a good thing. An example of this is this one. I present a proposal uh, last month about the mobiles, to use mobiles in, in the mental health to screening the persons with a mobile and send that information to the doctor so they recognize the pressure and they will make the treatment. They say to me, no, that's not innovation. We need something that makes business. So they are thinking in business. And innovation is not only business. So something that is very important to do over there is to think about the definition of innovation. What is innovation? And, think, and I think it like this, is creativity with a purpose. That's a broad de definition that it covers all the things we do. That is, is from a, an idea, a new methodology, a perspective, a model, a new device, a technology, or a method. And also, Something that is very important is, is how I implement that. In Colombia, we think it until here, and we are not thinking in implementing the things we are doing. The implementation is very, very important over there. Uh, the phases of innovations in, in the science are these ones. The idea, the generation of idea, the evaluation, the conversion or the studies on the idea, the diffusion and the implementation. I will talk now about these two, uh, these two and then I will talk about ABC. In the diffusion of, of the ideas and uh, the science is very difficult over there. The ranking of the, the journals are very low over there. 
the quarters in which we are are the quarters two and three, so are not very good. In the the best ones, the best journals are in the quarter two or three, and the majority of, of journals over there that are good journals, some of them, some others are not as good, are at quarter four. So the diffusion of the 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 signs that we make over there is limited, and we have a poor recognition and networking opportunities because of that diffusion. So an opportunity is to work with other universities so that we have some, some opportunities to, to write with them and to be in other type of journals. The Spanish, they don't read the Spanish abroad, so it, it is very difficult for us in that topic. I write this, this uh, editorial in the Colombian Journal of Psychiatry in this year, 2003. It was innovative for that. I think it like that. It was of the topic that is, is really the most important one in the country, the conflict, the post conflict and they told me, are you crazy, man? Yes, I'm psychiatrist, I, I told them. <laughs> and I, I was thinking of, of, of that in that year and they say, said me, no, it's not a, a good topic, it's not a, 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 good, a good thing. So uh, it reflects the non-planation of the things over there. We don't plan things over there. We are in the present. We don't think 10 years uh, before of the things. So if we have some networking with uh, uh, Oxford, that they plan all things they have, and they have it very clear, it will be nice for the Havarian. Also, we invest a lot of money. We make the guidelines. Juliet is here that works a lot in guidelines. And we invest around $7 million in, in, this, in this plan. And we make a lot of clinical guidelines that are very, very important, are the fashion in the world now. Nice from England, they, they help us in that. And we make uh, the platform, all things were beautiful. And we say, the government, we, we need to implement this because you have invested a lot of money in that and we need it. So uh, it was five years ago and the guidelines are not implemented. So we need a lot of innovation in, in implementations. How to do it? Diffusion, how to educate doctors, people, nurses, etc. Topic number two. It is one. I think it in this innovative leadership and innovative the process of innovation, how it is. In the leadership, in the traditional way in, in Colombia is vertical. We have a, a, a leader, like a president, and not the president of the university, but a leader of the group that he, that he knows everything. He's like the, the superman, that he knows everything, and we know as a, a psychiatrist that that's not possible. But all the thing, all the people, they work like that. It's very vertical, not horizontal. Uh, the characteristic of, uh, of the leader, this is evidence-based, are all of these and are more. So are impossible to have in any person over there. So we must think in groups and how to work in groups, really, and how to work in networks, and how to mobilize individuals to the group, to think in, to think in the group and then the individual, and to make it like that. I was thinking, as a, a, a psychiatrist also, I asked me the individualistic thing in our country, the, 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 the reasons of that. And I think that one thing that is over there is the lack of opportunities. If 
if I promote someone, I will have less opportunities. So the people don't think like here, that you have more opportunities here. The envy that is very important in, in, in the, the field that I work, the competition, the need of control, all things are controlled by the leader. I know that you can't make it like this, etc., etc. So, uh, looking that that problem, I think in the process of innovation, and in the central of innovation is the the reflection. We need to reflect. We need to make the feedback of the things, and innovations must be different. Decentralize it more emotional, the, the rational thing, interactive, inclusive, transparent, with a, a trust in, that, in, the, in the process, it's flexible and informal. These are the, the requirements of the door, not a structural and vertical thing. Uh, other problem, in, in this sense, is that the, the culture in, in our country, they see, they see good the science that is from abroad and not our science. The confidence of the people over there, not here. The people here are biased. You are here because you are more innovative. But most, all the, all the people over there, are less innovative and they 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 are afraid of of doing a new idea of thinking a new idea so we need with this to think and how to educate in innovation that's a very important thing that we are making over there how can i teach innovation how can the people over there think in innovation and we are making a course now, and we are, are putting it with the evidence of things that help us to be innovative. The characteristics of, of the course are, are these ones that I'm going to teach you. I'm going to, to teach you now, I'm going to say you, because you know them. Uh, we must think uh, how to put the questions in the right moment and in the right place. And for that we need the theory, the technology and the evidence. And we mostly, over there, we have the evidence and, and this one. But this one is not over there. Or we have it not in, not in the modern place. An example. The papilloma virus and the cancer uh, in the 19th century, it was, uh, it, it, it was observed. The evidence was that it was more in, in these wives, the second wives, the sex workers, and none about the nuns. And they have to wait until 1970 to have the development of the, the, the laboratory test, the PCR, and in 1990 they, they saw the papilloma with the DNA and they related with the cancer. So we need the free to have an innovation. Here is the, the Nobel Prize with the innovative thing in the papilloma. Innovation also needs observation to teach how to observe details of the things, how to observe different. And we know that the people see the perception is, is uh, influenced a lot by the theory and the knowledge I have. I see what I can see. Put you these photographs. We, you, we have a, a woman here and another woman and are the same woman. Although I will ask you to raise a hand those that think that are more attracted by this woman. Please raise a hand. Please, please. 
and with this woman, please, nobody. Why? This is observation. And the observation is not only a conscient observation, it's an inconscient observation. I will teach you a little bit, maybe doctor, he knows why, but I only put a little bit, I dilate the pupil here, one millimeter. The people doesn't know that. Although they act because I, I, I produce it with this. So observation is not only a conscient observation, but in conscient one. Although we must think that, that, is, uh, that is, if, uh, if I observe something, I could think it could be that way, the observation. Second, or third, uh, is to think in analogies. The analogies are very important in innovation. In Colombia, there was a problem, or there is a problem, of incubators. Incubators are very expensive, and we have a lot of, of the babies, the return babies, of ten the babies that are born are free, are preterm. So we need incubators. We don't have money. So a man over there at the university, he think in the, the kangaroos, this model, and he invented or, or described the kangaroo model for dead babies. And here they are in the university, the, the babies and they are growing very fastly. It's a good technology, and it's a, an innovation for the poor. Uh, we must teach also how to juggle between opposites, between induction and deduction. That's very important. The models over there are very, I'm inductive. I'm deductive, but all the work is coming now that the creativity is between both, is to think in, in, in induction and, 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 and the, the, the deduction, and there is the creativity over there in the middle, the transition phase is very important. Here is the example, Darwin, that you know it a lot. The, the museum is here, and all the, all the things you have of Darwin, and he, and he make it like that. He gets some samples, go to the theory, and from the other way. Learning to change the point of view, to put in, in the, 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 the the choose of other, of other one, to think in, in new things. In Einstein, he imagined his, himself in the traveling in the speed of light, and he deduct the theory of, of relativity. So you must think in the other observation, you must think in the other man to think in new ideas. Montessori also, she her herself as a, a, a boy, a girl over there, and he deduct the education with that, to put it in other place. Uh, learning to a broad, a broad way. Uh, we need really to think in a studies multi-center and international. I think that most of the the, the problems, as I see it in, in our country and other ones, we have alternative to, to explain them. Schizophrenia. Schizophrenia is like the example I, I bring here. It is better the prognosis of a schizophrenia in non-developed countries. And we don't have drugs. And we don't have hospitals, but they do it best over there. So why? 
and we make a comparison of the, the savants here, uh, the North American typical one, one child, and here the Indian, the Colombian. We are a lot of persons over there. Our cousins, our, our the grandfather, the grandmother, all the people over there. The schizophrenics make it very well here because they have a support. The critics are lower than in other parts. So the, the, the answer to this was making studies from North America to India. And we saw that, that is the reason. Although something that is coming up now, that uh, the native persons in Indians of the earth, in indigenous people, they do it very well. And we don't know why. And we are making some studies on that. Dissecting the problem is very important. And in the topic of Eduardo, it's very, very important. We must, we must explain the people to dissect all the problem and to think as a, an inductive way and, and then a deductive, a convergent way to have the answer. The intensity of, of, of the balance here, our country, that you know it very well, the balance is very high. These are the pictures of our country and the soldiers, the, the boys or girls in the war, the valleys, this is a, a church, it was a church, the narcotraffics, the corruption, the money, easy money going on, displacement people, a lot of things going on in the valleys. Also displacement, kidnapping, and those boys that are looking things that are are not accustomed to them or to anybody. This is the whole problem. It's not only the soldiers and the militaries. It has a lot of more problems and we must dissect it for the, the reconstruction and the peace. The levels, all problems are multi-level now. And not only are individual the problems, our interpersonal relation problems, community problems, and uh, the society. All problems must be seen in a broad way, not only in a specific way. I have been doing this, I think it's incomplete, maybe very, very incomplete for the peace, but we must think in the reparation the forgiveness and reconciliation, the reconstruction, memory, justice, education, health, land, all these things, truth, tr the truth, respect, the trust, and peace. So, a lot of things. Mm -hmm. The problems are like this, a lot of, of more. Uh, the questions are a lot more. Other thing that, that we are, are doing over there is to get in a flexibility in the things, to make it very, very easy and flexible. And that is very important in this. Alexander Fleming in 1928, he came from the vacation to the, the laboratory and saw the disk. And this is mold over here, hongos. And he and the people over there, they saw that and they, they get it away. They say, well, it's, it's contaminated. He think it really different over there and he think, well, I've seen the mold, but the bacteria is here, but I don't, I, don't, I don't see here bacteria. Maybe something going on here. And he looked different. The experience was different and flexible and he think it different and he do the, the penicillin. The combination interdisciplinarity is very important 
in innovation. And, and you have here a lot of experience in that, to work between disciplines. And we are learning that at Colombia. The president of the, the university is thinking now in doing uh, the groups, the faculty groups, and all the things that is very important for innovation. The frame, the shifting of the frame, the expectations are very important to interpret and, and understand the things. And we must think it different. This is an example, the gastritis, that until uh, 18 years or 20 years, something like that, they think that in the stomach, no bacteria, and someone think it that it may, it may be in that acid thing. And they discovered the helicobacter over there. They think it really different. The power of groups, that's very important, and is our understanding now for the networks or of working the new ideas, and networking that is very important. And the networking, it comes with innovation, that are, are born in the, the relationships, in the innovation. And we are thinking in doing the software, that we are working on it as a software that is the innovation network software in which a network of, of, of researchers are joined with, uh, with the entrance to the, the software, someone will write an idea and the other ones will make the feedback to the, the author and then they will do the, the development of the idea and we are, are thinking in this, in, the, in this model to do it. And we are proposing the Innovation Network Oxford and the, the University, ENOCH I call it, to work on in these things in, in problems that are important for the world. This is the logo that I invited to look at and the topics in which we can do the work, topics in, in, in politics, in sociology, in medicine, in science, and all, the, all the topics that, that could be worked together. This is Colombia again. This is the Amazonas. And thank you very much.